Hi, I'm Bebo, and today I'm here to talk with you about WrestleNomicon. Hi, I'm Rob Hainso. I'm one of the designers. WrestleNomicon is a game about two elder gods wrestling against one another as the fate of the universe hangs in the balance. Only one of them will get to destroy the universe the way they want it destroyed. The goal of this game is to knock the guts completely out of your opponent by doing 25 points of damage. You do this by playing wrestling cards onto this track, but there's something unique about WrestleNomicon. When you play a card onto the board, its effects are not activated until they reach this point on the board, otherwise known as Ground Zero. Each card has two significant numbers of value on them. The first number indicates what space or position each card will come into play on. The second number inside of the arrow is the momentum, the number of spaces that you can move another wrestling card, bringing them ever closer to ground zero, where Cthulhu and Haster will use these moves against each other. But this game is not just about hitting hard first. The order of your moves is important. Each attack has a type listed here, and much like rock, paper, scissors, some types of attacks are more powerful against other types of attacks. Anytime one of these powerful attacks moves to ground zero, the text on them is activated. However, if they're across from a move that they're extra powerful against, then they get to slam their enemy. When a character slams, they might destroy an enemy permanent, draw cards, or even deal more damage. Bizarre attacks do crazy things like gaining cultists and bizarre cards slam enemy dominance cards. Now, dominance cards attack and allow you to draw more cards. They also slam ranged cards. Ranged cards usually push back the enemy, making it harder for them to attack you. However, whenever you see one of these icons, you can move a wrestling move from your opponent's side of the board back a number of spaces to the left. If at any point the move would push them back past this space, then it's lost forever into the void and discarded as a result. These ranged cards slam viscera cards. And last, viscera cards do a lot of damage, and when they slam enemy bizarre cards, they do even more. In addition to attack cards, players will be playing cards called permanents, combos, and defenses. Permanents give ongoing effects, and they stay out in front of the player. However, you may only ever have two permanents in play at a time. Combo cards can only be played in conjunction with other attacks. They make attacks even more devastating, and they can lend you extra turns, attack damage, or die rolls. Defense cards can be used to prevent damage, and they're played as instant abilities designed to thwart your opponents. When you've managed to knock the guts entirely out of your enemy, then you win the game, and you get to destroy the universe your way. And that's how you play WrestleNomicon. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Be Bold Games. May the Elder Gods be with you. Be bold, play games, be you. Happy gaming!